Well, welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. I'm Wyatt. Justin. Today we're taking a look at the Tatuaje, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Reserva. This is a real nice, uh, I'm not sure of the exact dimensions, but definitely Maduro stick. Real, real dark. Uh, complexion of this cigar is just dark chocolate, like a dark roast coffee all the way through. Uh, I see a lot of seams, there's a couple of stems, and my cigar is actually a little bit crooked, but uh, this is the definition of a hand-rolled cigar. Uh, a lot of imperfections, but it really looks good. Uh, off the aroma, I get sort of a vanilla off the wrapper. Uh, it's like a chocolate, but also a vanilla. Um, and then to a lesser extent, I get that on the uh, foot, but um, real chocolatey aroma to me. How about you? Um, I agree. I would have said more of chocolate. I, I get like a vanilla caramel. Yeah, like yeah, that might be it, yeah. A bit of just a nice light, rich, light tobacco off the foot. But yeah, I have got some, my, my cigar's a little crooked as well. It's got plenty of seams, a few veins, a little bit like a lumpy, like a vein's doing this number. Um, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, let's get it cut up, toast up, and see how it develops. I've taken a lighting my cigars with soft flames, so it takes a little while, but really the, the taste in the first couple puffs especially, there's a noticeable difference to me. You get a little bit of that, a little bit less of that char taste, and uh, this is actually a hybrid of the two, a torch and a soft flame, so i got to say, I think this is one of my, my new favorite ways to light a cigar. Nothing really on the aroma just before I take a, a puff. Ooh, real, real thick, oily smoke. Yeah. Uh, you know, really, really thick. I'm not getting much of taste, but uh, texture definitely. Oh, definitely yeah. oily, uh, very thick, almost creamy smoke. Yeah, draw is really nice. Yeah. Uh, definitely, uh, the flavor for me really, I almost want to say mild in flavor because I'm not getting a whole lot off of it. I'm saying like a nice light tobacco, maybe a bit of nuttiness, but not a whole lot right now. Yeah, I was expecting the, the cigar to be a little more uh, dark in flavor, but yeah, there really isn't much there in flavor. It's just the, the texture of the smoke is so dark and... and uh, but the yeah. oiliness? Yeah, the oiliness, yeah. And the creamy smoke really make up for the fact that the flavors are very mild. And I'm sure that they will develop as we go farther in the stick. I mean, the oily texture and the smoke just make up for it and still very, very pleasurable. I, I'm really enjoying it just for that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. The strength and the flavors are still very mild, but I think that will change. Well, let's get into the first 10, 15 minutes and we'll come back and see how it develops. Well, welcome back. We're about 10 minutes into this Tatuaje Reserva. Uh, so far, I, I mentioned that the cigar itself was a little crooked and the burn is a little bit crooked, but t tastes are pretty nice. I mean, what tastes I could pick up, most of the, the flavor for me comes through in just how smooth and and texturized the actual smoke is. I mean, the the, the smoke just coats your tongue, and it's, it's really nice, but there's not too much taste to go along with it. Uh, on the retrohale, I get a little bit of pepper, and there's a little bit of, like a vanilla, I would guess. Uh, on the finish, but the smoke itself, with as smooth and creamy it is as it is, there's just not a lot of actual flavor happening there. So, how about you? Um, yeah, for me, it's definitely mild in body, and those flavors are just kind of barely there for me. Um, I get like a mild tobacco, uh, maybe a bit of earth and nuttiness, but nothing really, you know, they're kind of just more fleeting hints of those flavors. Um, there is a bit of spice or pepper uh, coming in on the finish for me and definitely in the retro hail, but still not really overpowering or very pronounced. Uh, but it is extremely oily and extremely thick, creamy smoke that still makes it a very enjoyable cigar. I, you know, it's just that adds to an experience on, on its own. We heard the term, and I agree with it totally, is the smoke is almost chewy. 
It is so thick, it coats your entire mouth. What you know, the flavors are very mild, but they're swirling around there and they coat your entire mouth, so it is very, very pleasurable. Um, the burn's all right, no need for a touch up. I uh, haven't had any construction issues. It's still very mild in strength as well. I'm not getting much of uh, a nicotine buzz off this at all. But so far, um, what it lacks in flavor, it makes up for in dimension with the thick, oily, and creamy smoke. It's very nice. Let's get into the second third and approach the midpoint and see how it develops. Welcome back. We're about halfway through this uh, Tatawahe Reserva. Uh, no real flavor changes. Um, still just real thick, creamy smoke. Burn has been great. Uh, not a razor sharp burn, but I haven't needed any touch ups. Uh, I still get a little bit more pepper on the retro hill, but uh, flavor wise, there's a little bit of coffee. Um, there's a little bit of, of earthiness, but for the most part, it's just how thick the smoke is that affects the taste. Uh, and we're pairing this with coffee, and it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, just because real thick smoke, uh, you know, I do iced coffee because it's not quite as thick as, as a lot of coffees, and so they pair well. Uh, they pair really well together, so uh, good cigar. I'd agree. Um, it's really kind of keeping par for the course. Um, no burn issues, no construction issues, draw's been fine. Still mild in body, mild in strength for me. I was really hoping for a little bit more since it is a Maduro, but that thick, creamy smoke really makes up for all the faults of this cigar. It's nice and oily. The, you know, the taste and flavors are really just keeping par from the course. Mild tobacco, a bit of earth and nuttiness, and, a, and definitely a little bit of pepper on the uh, retrohale and on the, the finish as you go into the next draw. Might be, uh, why I mentioned like a coffee, I can almost get that maybe a little bit coming in, uh, but nothing too pronounced. Uh, mostly just, everything's very light. There's very light, mild flavors, but that thick, creamy smoke is the player for this cigar that is really nice and makes it a very enjoyable smoke. Well, let's get into the final third and we'll see how it develops. All right, well, we're at the nub point, the last third of this uh, Tatawahe Reserva. Uh, after I got past the, the halfway point, I picked up a lot more of that nuttiness that Justin's talked about. Uh, and it's more of like a cashew. Um, but uh, not that much there in flavor. And I, and I hate to say that because the cigar itself is really nice. Uh, just how thick the smoke was, how really creamy. Justin said chewy. I, I really agree with that. But I wish that there was more taste to pick up with this cigar because this would be perfect with a cup of coffee or a, or a drink or something if there was just more taste there. But uh, texture-wise, real nice cigar, burn-wise, never had any problems. Uh, so construction was great. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I give this one like, I like guess 7.5. It's something I, I would definitely smoke again, but uh, uh, I don't know if we just got kind of a, a bum box or something, but uh, I wish there was just more going on in, in the taste in this cigar, because it's something I would really like to try again uh, if there was, again, just more taste. So, what do you think? I totally agree. This is, it's been a very pleasurable smoke, but it has, I've had no flavor changes coming into this final third. The, the standout for me in this cigar is the smoke. It is thick, it is creamy, it, and like I said, chewy in my opinion. It is very oily. You leave a nice oil sheen on your lips. But it is a Maduro, and it's not a characteristic Maduro. In my opinion, there's, I never really got any sweetness. I never any really got any those deep, deep, earthy flavors or, this, or heavy sweetness. Nothing. You know, there was nothing about it that screamed medium or full body. It's always been mild body, mild and straight cigar. That being said, it's still a very pleasurable stick. Uh, there are flavors there. There are quite a few flavors. So I don't want to say it's simple. It's just they're not very pronounced and. And if this cigar was like, I'd say, a medium or a medium to full body, it would be excellent smoke. It's just kind of lax on flavor. Uh, every other part of the cigar is great, never had any burn issues, never had any draw issues, construction was fine. If I was going to rate it, I'd go a little lower and say a solid 7. I would like to try it again, because White said we might have just got some bum sticks, and maybe try it, and, or maybe even let it sit in a while in the humidor. I, I don't know. I, I know these have been sitting... In the, we got them at a cigar shop, and I'm sure they've been there a while, so I don't think it was a resting time. I just think that maybe this is just what the cigar is, or we got a bum set of sticks. Um, 
I will try it again and hopefully that it will be a little bit more medium to full in body. But right now it's, it, this stick was very mild for me and I would solid 7 is where I'm going to sit with it. But still a very pleasurable smoke. But uh, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, we'd greatly appreciate it. But until next time, smoke them if you got them.